Hello, hello, and welcome back. Today we're gonna do something cool. We're gonna go from zero, from nothing, from an outsider to doing the cool visualizations in Unreal. First thing is we need to download the Epic Games Launcher. You can get it online, just Google Epic Games Launcher. It should be fine. I can do it here for you. Epic Games Launcher. You go in here, you download it. You download the latest uh, Unreal Engine version, hitting the plus here. Let me remove this. You can hit the plus, you can choose a version, just get to the latest. And then you can launch it once maybe. Uh, and then you go to Arthur's Audio Blueprints. It's uh, not even here. It's actually here in GitHub. And you can scroll down and you can see here what engine this version is made with. So that's one you don't know here. I got it here, 426.1, the last point, whatever, doesn't matter. And then you can go down, scroll down to the zip downloads, right? And you can hit that link. And this is the one, the latest version will be here. Old versions, you can just ignore. Then it's uh, download. We will download it, save it. <laughs> I, wrote it I already downloaded it once because I did a pre-run, a dry run of this video, you know, as you gotta do to check the audio, you know, sound check. So it's only, I think, yeah, 269 nice megabytes. So it's almost done. And next I'll just hit it. I'll just, I don't need a readme. Uh, I just need a folder. I'll just drag it out here to the desktop. And uh, double click it. Let's clean up all this stuff and you will get this. And uh, this is what we hit. Uh, if we have the Unreal launch, Epic launcher and Unreal Engine installed and run once, this should like already, this should just work. This It should recognize this uh, file. You can just double click. And now when loading, this could get stuck at some percent, like 19, 25, 45, 93, whatever. This is normal the first time you launch the new engine because uh, it has to do a lot of first time setup stuff. So uh, that's just what it is. And then we can start by playing. <laughs> So we can like have fun, right? Press enter. I hope you can hear me right now. I'm in the car, I'm driving. This is just one level. I'll hit escape. And uh, if I hold right mouse button, I can like navigate with W, A, S, D, Q and E and the stuff like that to move the camera nicely. Um, and here we go, this is the main hub level. This ring should be filled with doors, but it ain't. And how we do this is uh, we select the, the, the level changer factory. It's in the middle here, it's this little <laughs> sphere. Looks like any other sphere, but it's not. It's, uh, it's the door thing. Yeah, either move it a little bit or hit this button and you get the doors. Now you can play again. And you can just go into any, any level. And do stuff, right? So here you can, I can also hit Q. I can say, I want to be in A minor. I want some uh, nice pads here. And I want the... Uh, a huge range of uh, octaves and I want to hit Q again. Now I have this A minor chord. Let's just try the complex. Let's try some basic. Very great. Let's try another one. Let's try this consistent plain one. Very great. And they go in sequence, so I can go outside of the range. Let's go like this. Very 
pretty weird. And then, ah, the mood is too sad. We gotta go to Mage. <laughs> ah, much better. Maybe we just want some really low base-ish things. Let's run over here. Oh yeah. Yeah, but yeah, distractions. We're not supposed to do this. So, this is basically it. To look at each each of these doors goes to example levels. To look at them in the editor like we're doing now, we can navigate uh, into artist order blueprints. Uh, should be top level folder and the content. Go to maps, and then examples. This is the hub we are in right now. But in examples, we get all of these maps. So here we can uh, have fun. So let's try this. The randomizer. And here we can play or simulate. Doesn't to play, then we play normally. These are just some synthesizers making random presets in this room with the live visualizing. You can also play this with this uh, cogwheel uh, thing. Uh, it's called simulate and what that does is then we're not actually playing the game we're just simulating the level and that means we can move around like with the camera we can select things and look at them right so we can look at this uh okay you can see like this is the thing driving these two are driving the visualizer here so here you can actually see what's going on here you can see like the maximum values for each frequency, the current one, the current average of all of them. So, so this is really handy when uh, to simulate to like debug and just check what's going on. You can also look inside the synthesizers. You can look at the current preset because it randomizes every few seconds. So this is the current modular synth preset. And it will now uh, probably change. Yeah. There it went. This is a new patch. Let's wait for the next one. Now it's a sign and a square wave doing some stuff. Oh, so now it's a sign and a triangle and it sounds crazy. That's pretty great. And see here, you can al always, if you like the sound, you can pause it. You can select the thing with the sound and you can go down to the end of the preset and you see here. Save preset. So I save it and it's now saved to, I can just collapse this. It will save to this a custom saves preset bank. And if you hit the, the thing, I don't know what, not a question mark, but like a, a glass <laughs> for the de detectives and uh, or for looking at small things. So you have this, this is a preset bank and this we can open and you can look, let's make it big. And you can see the different presets here. So here we have saved a bunch of presets. So this is the one we just looked at, a sine and a triangle. 0 0.8, 0 0.6, if you go back here, you will see the same uh, on this one. I will uh, show the presets. 0 0.8, 0 0.6, sine triangle, like it's the same. So now it's saved there. You could also just duplicate this, hit Control W or right click and duplicate and call this my presets and then you can go in like you could stop the level go to this thing say that uh, this is now the the bank you want to pre the presets to and instead of cop actually now i copied it that's dumb because now it's it's filled with all these other presets that was in the previous one because we copied it right so what we can do instead is actually go to go uh, sounds i think whoa sounds Synthesis preset bank, modular synth preset bank, and call this my for real this time preset bank. Save that, and then in this uh, synthesizer again, we go and say the for real one. And now, if we and this is now empty, no presets, zero. So then we hit play, and I'm like, oh yeah, that's a beautiful sound. Mm -mm -mm. So I go down, I co collapse this, I save it, and now it's here. 
it's in the preset bank. Bam! Then you can see it here. And you can use that later on different synth or for some gameplay stuff or just for, I don't know, some weird reason that only you would do. The freak. Uh, so, and I can stop it now and it's still there, right? Whoa, it's still here. And you can rename it like uh, the this sound was a bit like a, I don't know, a wooby. It's a wooby sound, you know? Oh, it was so wooby. So I put it like that, and now we got the Ruby preset, like it's stored, we got it here. So you can create banks quickly and you can just, by just randomizing this stuff, it's great. Uh, what more? Now I'm like, we, this, this was just to get going, now we're past getting going. We're actually rolling quickly here. But that's fine, let's go to uh, another example. You don't have to save the level, only the, because the banks, I didn't save the level now, but this is still saved, right? Because it's an asset, it's separate from the level that we were in. This is a level, you can hear me twice. So this yellow stuff is uh, live visualizing the mic input. It's pretty fancy. So, uh, yeah. And this on the right side, just <laughs> right now, is just uh, it's just static through this line, so that's why it's so crazy. Uh, but this is how it works. It's all real time. It's very fancy. Anything else? Yeah, silent. This is to say, this is also visualizing my voice, as you can see, but uh, it's now silent. You can't hear me twice. And uh, I don't know. I can shout, and it's kind of working. I can already see this isn't set up quite right because we should have more like reaction here. So let me stop it and we can go into the, yeah, you see this analysis bit fire. It should regularly increase sensitivity because if you don't, only the loudest sound will like register after a while and all small sounds will just, yeah, not. So now it should be a bit better. It will adjust over time. So, uh, we get more like responsive uh, visualizations of my voice or our voices. So, uh, yeah, and it's just doing stuff. Here's some kind of weird spotlight thing. I don't know, but it's working. And it says a lot of stuff. I don't know. Hopefully it's helpful stuff. Yeah, there's a lot to show, a lot to show. Just go through all this and have fun, I guess. It's uh Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> what do we have to do? What? Oh. Yeah, we can make noise. It's great. A lot of stuff. I don't know, we have to cut it short, but uh, you get the gist. This is pretty fun. It's pretty awesome. It's free. You can do it. Let's go. Oh, yeah. 